Hi, everybody. I am Jennifer Locke, and I am Christopher's cousin. Chris and I have known each other a lifetime, and I am here for an afternoon of beauty. I'm terribly excited about that. I have been off uh, for 14 months from work in the hotel industry and have just been called back and thought I could use a refresher. So Christopher is going to take care of me. Jenny is my cousin. We've known each other since I was born because she's older than I am, but not much. And we did a little bit, and we have grown up together, and she wanted to get a hair color, and I said, let's do a whole makeover, and so that's what we're doing. Cause yeah, because I have to go back into the professional world now. When I got let go, I did a lot of walking and thinking. Mm -hmm. In fact, the day I got furloughed, it was a rainy day. I got my umbrella out, <laughs> just took a walk. And you're a little salt. Balled my eyes out, kept walking in the rain. Came back, took a picture of out my front window, and it was a March day, and it was rainy, and nothing had bloomed yet, and it was just a depressing day, and, and I just thought, it's just a, it's just gonna be a couple months, mm -hmm. just gonna be a couple months, just gonna be a couple more months, mm -hmm. maybe by fall. Plus, you have a teenage daughter who's her Plus senior I, year. I st yep, I have a teenage daughter who, and then, and I, and we all thought by fall, this is all gonna be a stupid memory and it, it just wasn't. Quick shout out to the Garden Center ladies in the floral department, hi. <laughs> it's tough at 60 to go back to, right? I'm, it, it I'm guessing. Is, it is tough. I mean, part of it is, is the longer this thing went and when you're sitting at home, so I was off for 14 months. I have been off and I, I just waiting and waiting for something to start and, and up and running. And there's a lot, <laughs> when you have that much time to think, there's a lot of crazy things that go through your head. Am I ever going to get back to work? Am I ever going to be relevant? Mm -hmm. you That's know, a big the, one. The longer I stay out, the less relevant I am, and I lose I lose traction. And the age that I'm at, for me to go out and start a whole new industry, I have sales skills. I can sell anything, but to learn a brand new industry. Mm -hmm. It's a little daunting when you're my age. You were a downtown girl. I was a downtown. I loved downtown Minneapolis. I, I loved it. And I thought there's no place I want to be other than downtown. You're and a suburban so mom now. Yeah. She's totally a suburban mom. As soon as you give your kid wheels, it's oh. like a game over. There's absolutely no Well, control. it's time, isn't she? Is she actually 18? She is. She well, turned 18 last give her, fall. All right. Well, what are you going to do that? You can give that one up. Are you afraid if you give that up, then you'll just be like <gasps> an emotional mess? I'm irrelevant when it comes to mothering. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you did that. You did your mm -hmm. job. You'd be more than a mom. I call my boys. Oh, right, mom. Just, just oh, call oh, oh we, got, we need to get this girl back into the city just a little bit. <laughs> Personally, I would like to see her back to the woman that I know, not like just a suburban mom. Well, you have to do that. You make the decision to have kids. Well, I know, but you're the done. The kids, the kids. We, I sat through the last 30 years. Now it's time to get, you know, okay. get your heels on and your sexy legs out yeah. there. Oh, but the knees don't support the heels. You have a, yeah. Well, you, you can walk a little. <laughs> you haven't been wearing them or something. Moms don't no, wear No, I, ha I have not been wearing heels. I have been out for 14 months. Well, I've been on, a, on cement floors at the garden center. Okay, well, just a little wedge. I will tell you, I put on heels the other day. <laughs> I was like walking like Oh like, no, Jenny, that's I'm like, terrible. Oh my god. Okay, well. I'm you, like, I have no can, definition can, in my calves anymore. You can, you can build anymore. it back up. You can build it back up. Refreshed, ready to go, ready to take on the world and this and leave this pandemic crap behind. Who's this? Hi everyone. I'm Jennifer Law. I'm Christopher's cousin. And I'm older than Christopher. <laughs> but he just told me I looked younger. So I just had my beautiful makeover. I feel light and breezy and fabulous. What do you think? I think you, I think you seem a lot perkier than when you walked in the <laughs> Of you? course I did, oh. yes. I mean, look, I got brand new pants, brand new sweater, and- Brand new bra. Brand new bra. Listen, the bra thing is a big deal. You gotta get a good bra. <laughs> What did you think, Jenny? Like, what's because you thought you were what size and what size? Are well, you? I thought I was I was wearing like a 38D, and I'm in a 34 triple D, and I thought the triple D meant a larger cup, although it does. 
but it actually covers more and makes you feel more secure and gives you more support. So learn about bras. They're in the right place. Yeah, they are. As an empty nester, going back to work after the pandemic laid me off for 14 months, so I'm ready to rock. New lease on moving forward into my 60s. Let's do it. All right. Let's rock. Okay, we done? <laughs>